Jade, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate that. How's it, uh, how's it going in Australia right now? Yeah, it's going really well. Um, the team's doing really well. We've been here for a bit now. So we're just training, um, getting the final preparations in um, until the World Cup actually kicks off. Yeah. We've seen a few um, media articles uh, about um, letting your stress out and, you know, Take it easy in Australia. Uh, Christine Sinclair talked about it. Uh, Beth Prisman talked about it. Um, just how refreshing it is comparing to um, to your previous tournaments this time. Yeah, I think, I mean, being in Australia, obviously it's a foreign country, um, but it has some similarities to Canada, which is really nice. Um, I think it's refreshing um, to kind of have uh, be at a tournament where there's a bunch of firsts happening, like having the first World Cup um, for Australia, be in Australia is really cool to be a part of. Um, the tournament is full with a bunch of firsts. But yeah, like you said, it's it's really refreshing um, to be back in with the team. It's really refreshing to, um, you know, kind of get a tournament going. I feel like it's been a while since uh, we've been in a tournament. The, obviously, the major one would have been the Olympics for us. So I think... The team is really eager kind of just to get started. Tokyo is very special and for everybody in the world. Uh, but this time, are your families and other members or friends traveling with you um, to Australia? Yeah, my mom, dad and my aunt are coming um, from Canada and the U.S. to see me here in Australia. Um, yeah, I think it would be really nice to have my family here. Um, I've This is my second World Cup, but my family um, wasn't able to make it to the first World Cup. So to come here, I think, is really unique. Um, and then obviously, like I said, coming off of the Olympics, you know, in such an amazing place, kind of being in Japan, um, but obviously not having – the luxury of having family and friends and spectators be a part of that tournament. I think it's going to be really unique to be able to kind of reintegrate that back in and, and have like a real tournament setting. I want to put a very, you know, quick focus on uh, your parents. What, what kind of influence uh, they have placed uh, on you? Um, especially when I draw reference to uh, your mom uh, grew up mm -hmm. uh, in Hong Kong. And that that is um, a very special and uh, moving forward uh, uh, in your career. Could you tell me a little bit about your your parents, uh, how, how they help you build your career and uh, who you be you become who you are right now? Yeah, um, both my parents are obviously immigrants from Canada. Um, they came from Dominica, my dad, um, at a young age, and my mom, like you said, from Hong Kong um, at a young age as well. Um, my dad was more of the soccer athletic type of person, so he's the one that they really got me into soccer and took the time out of his day to coach me personally. Um, so if it would if it wasn't for him you know I don't know what path I would have really been on when it comes to sports um my mom wasn't a soccer player growing up um but she was definitely the nurturing type she's the one you know that made sure on the emotional side that you know I have a sad mom that was there um when dad was getting angry about soccer games um but my mom was also the type that did drive me to every single training session She'd drive me all the way to games. Um, when it came to school, she was the one that helped me get a bunch of tutors when I had to go away for national camps and, you know, not having the luxury of being in classes. So both my parents played a huge role in where I am today. Um, but, yeah, I think um, regardless if it's, you know, talking about my dad and Dominica or my mom from Hong Kong, what I'm really proud about is that both of them, um, aren't Canadian born, which is really unique because it obviously Canadians have a lot of foreigners that come, but I think it helped me build me having two parents from two different countries um, and really taught me the importance of loving and respecting what, your roots and where you come from. Mm -hmm. We talk about techniques, we talk about the X's and O's, and sometimes um, the mental side or maybe the psychological side um, would play a huge part and tell me how you mentally prepare and how your parents help you overcome challenges um you know when when you feel down when you lost a game when you when you feel upset you know how how did they encourage you and bring you right back up
Yeah, I think throughout my career, I've had a lot of injuries, unfortunately. Um, injuries played a huge part uh, on my mental side, just because, you know, you always think the worst when you have an injury. I think both my parents played a huge role in terms of that. There's been times where I've had um, a sufficient enough injury where I've had to be sent home from camps before. And I, you know, as a kid thought the world was crashing down on me and I'd never get selected back. But, you know, having both my parents there, um, they were at the soundboard for me. Um, you know, they made sure that I was always positive thinking. They made sure that I had all the resources. If it was, you know, seeing chiropractors or seeing um, athletic trainers or seeing doctors, um, getting the best resources that I can to make sure that I was healthy and able to bounce back. So both my parents have been there for me physically, emotionally. Um, when it comes to games, like tournaments such as this, like both my parents, you know, they always send me their little good luck messages and make sure I make sure I have calls with them prior to the games too. And, you know, you're never too old to get that pep talk from your parents. So I think it's really important. Um, but yeah, both of them have played a, a major role into where I am. White here to receive that wayward ball out of defence. It is Riviere goes for goal. It's a fantastic goal. A the, the following question may be just a little bit of an outlier, but you come from this um, immigrant uh, background. Um, did you ever feel like consciously or subconsciously about okay, this is a representation? I am representing more than just Canada, but but for my heritage as well. Uh, what 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 does it help you in this case? Yeah, I think um, as I've grown older, I've learned more about how much of an impact I have on my dad's culture and my mom's culture. I think the biggest thing was obviously in the Olympics when we won gold. Like there were a lot of news articles and things that came out in Hong Kong and came out in Dominica that highlighted, you know, having someone from that culture um, being on, you know, world, one of the world's biggest stages and winning a gold medal. I think that was when I really realized the impact that I had on my two different cultures. Um, obviously, me being um, Canadian born, you know, and playing for Canada, that's, that's mainly what I know and what I, I'm proud to represent. But I think um, it's really nice to see that even though I am born in Canada, that both um, people from Hong Kong, both people from Dominica still support me 100%. Um, and even if I'm not playing for their country, they're rooting for me 100%. Good. How are you? Awesome. <laughs> I was just looking upstairs over the many. Pitches. Would you mind sharing a little bit about your, the experience um, with Manchester United uh, and how the system um, elevates or have elevated your game in, in a different way? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've only been at United for maybe five, six months, obviously, because I came in the January transfer window. Um, but, you know, it's been amazing um, for me. Obviously, it's a dream club. So to be there is incredible in itself. Um, I think in terms of, you know, the resources and facilities that you want to be a, a successful footballer, they definitely have that there. Um, and it speaks volumes on, on the types of results that United gets. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's been amazing to be there, um, to be a part of it. Um, and I'm looking forward to next season and hopefully getting a starting position and playing. Going for goal, going for the champ, 2019 first shot, 2015 first shot. Um, how how confident uh, is is your team and you for yourself? Um, yeah, I think you know everyone is very confident in going into a World Cup. I think if you weren't confident, you know, you wouldn't be selected for this team and you wouldn't be a part of this team. Um, or the makeup of this team. So I think everyone is confident. Like I said, we're, we're touching on the final preparations until the tournament starts. Um, but obviously, you know, entering a huge tournament and coming off of a big one, the only thing you want to go for is gold. So that's um, what we're going to try to do. What's your last pitch to Canadian fans to make sure that they tune in to make sure to follow all the news? Even the time zone is a little bit different. Yeah, I mean, the time zone is a little crazy, I, I won't lie. But, I mean, during the Olympics, we had, like, the most watched um, 
soccer match for women's soccer and that was in a whole other time zone where it was flip-flopped and you know we were up at night and they're up in the morning so I think knowing that Canadians were able to tune in and, and support us in a tournament like that I'm 100% sure that our Canadian fans will tune in and show us love again for this tournament. We could wish you all the best uh, in Australia and um, hope you can bring uh, some you know um, major uh, moments uh, for Canadians. Thank you so much for your time, Jade. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Hi, Jade. I hope you're having a fun time in Australia so far. I'm Hannah, and on behalf of everyone at Pickering FC, we want to wish you and your teammates good luck at the World Cup. But I couldn't do it alone, so I brought along a couple of friends to help me.